Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Mtremelo or Mtremelo MB to create a sidechain uh, pumping effect. So we're not going to use a real sidechain. In this case, we're going to use volume automation. And of course, you could go in your DAW and do that, but that's kind of annoying. So actually, let me let you hear what I have is like the background here. I have just drums and a bass track. It sounds like this. Oh, I have the bass up a little bit loud, but I did that just so you can hear it. And what we want to do is we want to have a ducking every time that bass drum comes in. And we could do that, you, you know, using a compressor. But in this case, since it's just happening on every quarter note, we can use M tremolo. So if we go into here like this. So this is just a basic preset. Uh, if you go in, it starts like this, but we can go into single band here and it shows just what I showed here. Now we're going to need to change some things. Let's just turn the output down for a second. And now let's turn the depth up to 100% and let's have this invert tremolo phase. We need to turn this off because if not, everything's going to seem backwards here. So the first thing we want to do is sync this up. So let's just try this a few different ways. The first one, I'm going to just set this up to length one bar and make sure the phase is at zero or else it's not going to sync up properly. Now let's try the step sequencer. This is one way we could do it. Now we can go in here and set this to four. So this will be every quarter note. And now we have it in these blocks, but we don't want that. Let's try one of these. So something like this and just go into here. And now if you notice every quarter note, it should kind of duck down and come back up. And it should sound like, you know, you typically hear in uh, like EDM song with the pumping. So easy enough. And of course you can try different uh, like shapes here like this and see if this makes a difference. Sometimes it does. And we can even do other things like you can mix these together. So I could do something like this. So it sounds like this. Let me play this with the drums too. So you can see like, oh, okay, that's kind of a cool thing. And of course you can experiment with this more, but I think you get the idea. So let's go back and let's do it another way. So let's turn the step sequencer off and let's show you another way you can do it. You can use the custom. So let's turn this to 100%. And instead of length one, let's set this to quarter notes, okay? And if we hit edit here, we can go in here and there's all sorts of things we could do here. We could do something similar like we did with the saw waves click OK. I'll hit snap to grid so it's easier and these kind of like snap like that. So move this all the way down, move this all the way up and we can do this and like oh okay we created it again. We can do something like this. Let's do two. So you get the idea. But we don't want to do that. Let's clear that and we can just do any shape here. So let's say in this case I'll start here go up and then here. So we'll just duck the very beginning. Woo! Not that. Turn that off. Let me switch this back here to mode one. Like this. And let's listen to this. You can see it here. And you hear it, like here, by like a tiny click. To get rid of that, we can just move the smooth here. You see what's doing there? It'll get rid of those peaks, which will get rid of the small clicking sounds like this. Okay, and of course you can adjust that however you want. If you want this to have a, like a longer uh, lead in, you can do that. So it'll sound more like this. And of course you can adjust this any way you want. That's the cool thing about this. You can kind of draw in whatever you want. But this seems cool, but you're probably thinking like, okay, what else can you do with this? And why would I use M Tremelo MB 
as opposed to just the free in Tremelo. And I'll show you. So we can do things with uh, multi-band effects. So if we right click here, I can insert a band here. So now we have two. The original one we have here. And we can split this. So I can just solo this and listen to it. And now it's only going to do that ducking effect on my bass, which is what I want. It's really good. So I like leave the top end, you know, as it is. So I have that, and then I can just bypass the other band or turn the depth all the way down. And so top end will sound like this. And let's hear them together. So to me, like, oh, okay, that, that's pretty cool. So I could do more with this, but I, I think that's enough for this. I could do the same thing with the step sequencing if I wanted to, but let's go here. So a cool thing is since we have two bands, we can do something else here. So let's turn the depth all the way up. Let's sync this, but let's sync it to something different, like maybe eighth note triplets. Make sure the phase is at zero. Actually, we don't need to make the phase at zero. I just like it at zero. So now we have eighth note triplets here, and let's listen to this. And put them together. I changed my mind. I like the eighth notes better. Uh, so I'll go back to eighth notes. And then we'll, let's put it together with the drums, and you can hear what it sounds like. So, I think it's a really cool and easy thing you can do with Intramelo MB to just give some extra life and energy to, you know, like a pad or a bass sound or something. It doesn't take much time. Of course, if you want to, like, do more changing patterns, I would recommend using M Rhythm Side. M Rhythmizer. Uh, but if you're just trying to do, like, a basic pattern that's going to repeat all the way through the song, this will do it for you. And there's all sorts of other cool things you could do with this if you wanted to mess with the width here. What this will do is it will give you like a stereo effect. So like this. It almost sounds like an auto pan, so you can do that too, and you can come up with all sorts of cool things. So, hope this gave you some ideas of what you can do with this. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me any comments down below, and be sure to check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Until next time, see you.